What's happening YouTube peeps? Thanks for tuning back in today. We've got the old Dirty Max back in the shop today. Uh, we've got a couple little things to go over with it. We've got a passenger side door handle to replace and we're going to be talking trim, trim clips, all the little stud, trim studs and everything that you need for taking the door panels off and all the little hardware that comes with it to be able to replace the trim clips that you need to replace. So what we've got going on with the Duramax today is the passenger side handle, every time you pull it, it kind of gets just stuck right there. It doesn't want to go back in. So we're going to be replacing this door handle today. So we're going to show you on what you need to do to take off the door panel here. And then we're going to go over some clips and some trim tools that I use for taking it off. Um, the snap-on trim clip remover is the one that I'm used to using. It is an ASG. D1B. There we go. That's the one I usually use. And then these you can get off of Amazon. I'll be sure to put the links down in the description for those as well. They work really well. I like this one because it's got more of an angle to the head. So it makes it easier in some circumstances on getting it into a little bit tighter places. It's got a little bit of a smaller head to it also. So then over here at the door panel. First off, we're going to take off this little cover. We're going to pull out this little tab right here, and then this cover here around the door handle. We're going to pull that one out as well to get to most of the screws that we have. So now we're going to have a Torx bolt right there. And then down in there is going to be a seven millimeter. And then we're going to get this door panel off. We're going to want to take our door lock indicator off. It just pops out. There's another seven millimeter right in here. And we're going to take our A-pillar trim off up front, or right behind the mirror. Just pulls off. Now we're ready to get our door panel off. And disconnect all the electrical connectors. Right in here that go to the switch. So getting the door panel off, you're just going to lift it up out disconnect your connectors from the window switch and now we're going to be ready to get to our handle. So looking at the new handle right here, there are going to be three nuts that hold it in from the back side. They're going to be 10 millimeter nuts. So you have one that you're going to get to with an extension through this hole. One, you're going to pull this little plug out the side of your door and the nut is right there. And then the third one's kind of in a pain in the butt spot. You're going to have to peel back your inner door skin and then you're going to have to use a 10 millimeter wrench. It really sucks to get to unless you want to pull your whole window out. And I don't really feel like pulling a whole window out. So a 10 millimeter ratchet wrench is going to be your best friend in this circumstance. And also, before you get this taken out, uh, we're going to want to take off our, lot, our manual rod. So the rod that goes down to the latch is going to be right here. This, this rod, it's going to go into this little hole, so, and it latches this red little clip down into place. So you're going to want to pry that up and pull the rod out of the hole to get that dislodged.
Now to get our last 10 millimeter bolt out. I need a light because there's no way you can see it anyways. Operation from inside the door panel. There we go. And then we should be able to pull our door handle straight out. So there's the bad boy. And as you can see, it's the actual mechanism here is all gunked up, rusted up, and sticks. So we're going to be replacing that one. So we got it pushed back up in there. And now our door handle, no more sticky sticky. So heck yeah, that new door handle from Dorman fixed our issue. So we get pretty lucky on this one. There's not really any kind of door clips that are going to need to replace because this style door has just the hinge where it will just go onto the door. It's got a slot in place where you just put it in and slide it down into place. But I do have another one here in the shop, a new Hyundai or newer Hyundai Veloster with some door panels off and we're going to show some clips and stuff on that one. So when we took the uh, panel off this Veloster here, as you can see, some of our clips, they came out, pulled out from the panel. They broke in half, but this is normal to what happens on most of these interior panels. Now, a lot of guys, they're going to be like, oh, there's four clips left. Let's, you know, throw it back in there. It'll hold. No, we don't like to do it that way. We need to replace these clips. So one of the options that we do have for all these trim panel and clip selections is a company called Nikesin, K-N-I-K-E-S-I-N. They're the ones who sent me a couple of these kits to try out. Um, as you can see, they come in this nice divided little case here. This is going to be a 730 piece set. And this is going to cover probably 90% of your interior door panel trim pieces, kind of style clips. A couple of the uh, that style zip tie to it. So yeah, like I said, 730 piece set. It also comes with this five piece trim set. All these trim sticks right here. Four different styles of that one plus the red handled hard one that we used over on the duramax those came in really nice and then they did have all the clips that we're going to need for our hyundai over here so to get this whole setup right here that was only 24 bucks 23.99 something like that over on amazon i'm going to make sure to put the links to these down in the description as well so you guys can have a check out at those and then we have the set for the black christmas tree style push pins those are going to be for your like inner fenders underbody clips things things like that that kit also comes with the trim tools as well for the same exact price for a little bit cheaper if you want to just refill it and not have this you know the fancy casing for 12 bucks you get this fun size grab mix bag that you can divide out and have hours of fun all in your own so there's that option for you as well a little bit cheaper a couple of neat options make sure you guys replace your trim panel clips don't let those things go as broken panel pieces. That's about all I got for you guys today. Hopefully you guys enjoyed that content. Here pretty soon I'm going to be coming up with some more content for the Duramax. I've got a couple of parts to be putting on it for some winterizing, helping you guys there, doing some glow plugs, oil change, stuff like that. So we're going to be doing that on the Duramax and I've got a couple of really great tool reviews coming up as well. Make sure you stay tuned on that one. Check me out over on Instagram at Rust Belt Mechanic as well. As always, appreciate it, and you guys stay awesome.